Okay, we're back. Um, I'm up against another candidate here. So we just played Juan at the train. Um, we're now up against Clearcast. Um, another strong player. Uh, but hopefully you can now see me on webcam. So sorry I uh, I missed that before. So yes, question. Hey, when is this uh, World Championship? Uh, will it be on Twitch from the Ominous Monkey? Yes, um, you've actually... Actually, the World Championship match is made up of 60 games and it goes across three weekends um, and we play 20 games per weekend. So uh, just earlier today, uh, about 17 hours ago, the first 20 matches were played up against uh, Oppa Wesson. If you missed that, um, you can catch it on, um, on YouTube. I can provide... Well, if you if you just search up uh, John Lee uh, in YouTube, you'll find it there. All right, let's see if I'm busted here. You got some kind of bishop e7 idea. You got knight takes 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 knight f2. And he's only got one knight, so shouldn't be deadly for me. Let's see. Um. Yeah, dates are actually at the bottom left. If you scroll down, if you're on Twitch um, and you're not on full screen, you can scroll towards the bottom. There's a banner there that points out at 6 p.m. GMT on, uh, well, uh, 10th November, which has already passed. And now we've got um, 17th November and 24th November as well. Um, knight at h3 takes, takes, knight at f2 takes, takes. I think that's worth a go. If, if I, if I just play like this, pawn at e7, if, if I take the hits without doing something creative, this knight's going to do some damage. Here I am opening up h7, but um, after takes, I think here, and I should be able to tuck the king away. The other alternative is bishop at e3. It should be given some consideration, because rook at h1 is a damning threat. So what about bishop here, knight at h6, takes. Yeah, I think bishop at, it's either bishop at d4, no, can't be bishop at d4, that's knight takes d4, that's obvious. We'll play bishop at e3. So we've gone in for the big sack here. Now, bishop takes, king takes is lost to knight at g5, you have to play king h8. And then you're asking white, what are you going to do about rook at h1? And uh, also, knight takes d1. So, for example, if knight at g3 to defend here, you play knight takes queen. He's actually looking to play queen at g3, maybe. It's just a defensive move. If queen at g3, I'll play knight at g4 to maintain the attack. I'm not sure if he was hoping for bishop takes h6, but I, I'm going to keep this one watching here. Um, I'll just play knight here. I can defend with pawn at g7. Um, yeah. So he's got a queen covering f2. That's the difference. Um... Okay, so a knight's coming in here. I can defend. I can play rook here. I can play rook at f2 even. Just got to make sure there's no tricky mates. Knight at e7, pawn here. Hmm. 
I shall be sensible and just defend like this. This actually has a sneaky threat. It's knight takes h2. You can't take with a queen because a queen it here. Yeah, and if you take with a knight, there's queen at g1 and rook at f2. Or maybe it's takes here, rook at d2, rook at d1. That's probably more accurate. So th this is actually a defensive move, but also an aggressive move. And that knight takes h2 is now a threat. I don't think he's seen it. Uh, he has this, uh, maybe it, I, I only saw the two captures, Knight e, King e2 is actually okay, but I'm not in any immediate danger, so we'll grab the Knight, it's been a good defender of d2. Last Gallagher, uh, are you afraid to Oppa? Or I, I guess you're saying, are you afraid of Oppa wasn't... Um, no, I, I don't think either of us are afraid of each other. We have played each other thousands of times. We both know each other's game very well. Oh, he's got 97. Okay, I have to take this. But bishop 87. Ooh, if I go here, he takes the rook. Come here. 97 takes. Alright, but this can't be any better. Or maybe it is. Is King E5 worth a look? Bishop at F6, you run up. Maybe running up is better. Alright, let's go for a walk, guys. Go for a walk on a wild side. I, I have a alley here to try to find safety. Uh, I'm a little bit complacent here allowing something on my king but we should be fine. If he wants to play bishop h4 we can always go here. I can even take g2. Let's take that. We'll be greedy. My king becomes an attacking piece. Okay, now now I get the checks. It should be straightforward. Come in with two big queens like that. Okay. Alright, I, I normally take this knight. Let's uh, let's play something which uh, I've seen a number of candidates play. This seems to be popular. Let's give it a try. Um, oh, maybe I should take here. I can, I can just do this. We'll, we'll defend this here. Okay, it's becoming more attractive now. Uh, so if I come here, is there some kind of thing where he's going to go G4 instead of E4? I'll, I'll learn from this. In principle... It should be fine to take the knight, but we're just, uh, it's just to annoy an opponent, really. Um, castle. I've got bishop f4, f queen here. So I'm not too worried about it. But maybe he's just looking to take e5. Maybe I should have played bishop f4 instead of castling. That's a little bit complacent. I mean, that should be okay. If he'll get two pieces, two pawns for the piece. Uh, 
What to do here? Um, I'm gonna use a new bishop. Uh, if I go bishop f4, I feel like he can just take a hit on my, my bishop here. If he wants to play pawn at f3, I'll just take it. Um, that's fine. Right. I've got to call that bluff. Um, yeah. I feel like white's up a fair bit of material here and black shouldn't have enough. Now I have to prove it. We just focus on f3 for one move, open up the opportunity to capture this one. Drop back. He's going to start hunting one of my knights because uh, knight at h3, bishop at g2 is mating. I just want to clear my king off the light square before I consider taking this. Okay, he's gone this way. No, I, I don't think black has enough here. I'm just happy to take some material. Important not to recapture with a queen, or else you're going to get forked with knight at e2 or knight at f3. So let's play bishop at h5. I just want to respect my f3 and e2 square before I think of capturing here. Queen is on as well. We'll just sidestep that one. So now plenty of cover on on the entry points that black would consider with the knight. Okay, d4. We'll, go, we'll play into clear cast's favorite. Take this one. Probably not. We'll play sensibly. Yeah, clear clear cast is, is quite good at at maneuvering in this opening, so this this should be interesting. Um, I'll go to e7 because I want to bring this knight out to f5 if I can. Maybe f6. Comfortable enough. Mm -hmm. Bishop at g7. Rook f8. Takes, takes. Alright, we'll try to hold on to the material. Considering king g7 giving up the queen. If bishop at g8, he just gets pawn at h7. I don't 
know if that's a good decision actually. White's white's very safe here. It's gonna take me ages to generate anything close to an attack. So I really have to hold him off here. E4 is quite natural. We'll take this. I thought he should prepare better before putting a pawn on h6. I, I was more concerned about e4 actually. Okay, now he plays it, but his queen is in some trouble. Maybe that should have been with the bishop. Doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we'll take this. Should be okay here. White dancing rock star. There you go. Yes, good start to the championship. Um, yeah, very happy to walk away with um, a lead, 11 to 9. Um, to uh, recap what happened uh, last year, it was 10 all. So that was against 12 team. Um, this looks like it's going to open up a weakness on G3. Is he baiting me to get a knight? Uh, I'm wanting to. <laughs> I'm wanting to get bishop takes f four in actually. No, I don't need to play anything fancy. I've got knight f five. This is this is strong. So if king back, his knight's still covering. Uh, so let's get a knight of our own. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's also a good start to the championship, just in general, because we have... Um, you know, it's it's still a very close final, so it's good for the viewers as well. All right, I I got to be careful of getting mated here. Uh, I should probably cover up just a little bit. I mean, knight at f2 is what I want, but it's not going to be much good if I run into something like knight at e5. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably okay even on h7. I just gotta be cautious. So let's take this first. And then knight at f2 might become viable. Let's just make sure we're not stuffing this up. So knight at f2, queen takes, takes. You'll have two knights in hand. So we can play. Knight at g5, king here, bishop here, takes. I should be running away. So if he plays knight at e5, takes. Knight takes. Takes. Yeah, I, I'm going to back myself here. But most important was I took this first because I, I, I'm going to need this square. Let's take that, take that. Uh, 
I mean, I don't see all the concrete lines. I just, I just instinctively feel that white shouldn't have enough to mate here. We'll see if he can prove me wrong. Can I dodge checks in any clever way? No, I've got to take this one. Bishop at f6 here, knight at h6, king here. Rook at g1 is a mate threat, or queen at g1 straight away. If the checks stop. Knight here, king here, no more checks. Got pawn at f7, knight at g5. Hmm, that's a good move. Alright, we we'll have to go for it. He's got knight g4, he can take here, knight at g3. I'm not out of the woods yet, He's he's been very resourceful with bishop takes f2. Maybe I, sh I should have covered with knighted here. Oh, does, does he have mate? Oh, he's gone back there. This should be hard for him to hold. If he had a mate, if he went for knight g4, uh, mm. probably not worthwhile me thinking about it now. But um, uh, there were there were other lines I was more concerned about than what happened. Slim MG says hi, John. Um, great games yesterday. Really enjoyed them. Good luck. Yeah, I enjoyed playing them too. They were really. Uh, Really good matches, very hard fought. Um, yeah, we, we both missed opportunities. Um, yeah, it was it was a real seesaw battle. I, I kind of cruised, you know, just just felt my way through the match slowly um, to lead six four, and then he just came at me uh, really heavily. Um, and suddenly he, he was up 8-6, and then um, I was fortunate enough to turn the momentum around. Yeah, good good games. Uh, really good games. Okay. I like this. Bishop at b5 or bishop at a4? Bishop at f5. Maybe bishop at f5. I've I've not played this before, I don't think. It just feels right. Question from Make On. Did you really calculate all those moves? Uh, which moves are you referring to? If it was the mate against Clearcast just then, yes, as black, I calculated them. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling white may have been winning. Instead of playing knight f3, I think knight at g5, king h6. There could have been some nasty trick with f8 queen and uh, knight knight e5 to f7. I, I'm not sure. Maybe my king is safe on h5, but he probably had bishop f3. King h4, knight e4 check. Yeah, I think that was some really elegant mate that, that he might have missed. Um, Alright. Um, 
Now, do I want to put a queen on a4, maybe? Maybe bishop. So if pawn here, what's he going to do? Takes, takes. Pawn on f3, takes. e4. So bishop at a4 makes sense. Bishop at b5 also makes sense. I'll put it on b5 only because there may be some utility in defending the king later on. Uh, yes, residual insight. Generally, I, I understand why you can't do commentary while playing the championship. Are there any other streamers doing commentary on the games? Yes. Um, today, I believe there was uh, Flourish underscore Zhouse um, was doing some commentary on the games. Um, might have had a few people tuned into chat. So it's uh, F L O U R I S. I'll, I'll type it out. I think flourish underscore Z house. Um, I don't know if OK will be streaming. I think it's probably. We'll, we'll see. I mean, there, there's other streamers as well. It depends if someone wants to do it on the day. Um, flourish Z house. I, I don't think is a regular streamer. He's he just decided he was gonna have a go at it. Um, so bishop g5 here. Let's threaten queen at d7. Ah, he's picking off my bishop. Should have used a new bishop. It's a bit loose. Uh, it's okay. I, I get knight at e6 check and I win the queen. Oh, donation. Holy moly. Johnny Yesa Fan Club has donated a hundred bucks. Wow, thank you, Johnny Yesa Fan Club. Hey, I've got to read your comment. Um, let's hold on a moment, guys. Hundred dollar donation. That's serious respect. Um, thanks, Justin, for the great content. You don't take students, so this is for the great Crazy House lesson you were giving to all of us for free. That's very nice. Um, thank you very much for the, the kind donation. Really appreciate it. Um, okay, pawn at d7. He can't play here because of queen at c8, so he's got to give up the knight. Take that. Now he can play king here. I should be safe here. I have two pieces defending f3. Um, if knight at h4, I can run this way. If knight here, I'll run this way. Even if knight at h4 comes in, I'll, I've got a step back here. Um, that's a phenomenal donation, Johnny Yesa Fan Club. Thank you so much. Uh, $100. Uh, that goes into the championship fight purse. So just a reminder, if... Um, if you're just joining, um, there's a championship fight purse where 70% will go to the winner and 30% um, to the loser. Uh, I don't really like the word loser. doesn't sound nice. Okay, can, can I make this work? Knight at a6, queen here. I don't really feel it. I'm, I'm just going to be conservative. Uh, now it probably works, doesn't it? Yeah, right. That that makes. I have queen b4 finish here. Yeah, runner up. That's a better word. Obi Wan Benoni. Thanks. Runner up wins uh, thirty percent. Cause y you you're not losing here. You're either first first in the world or second in the world, right? So you're not a loser. So a runner up is is the right term. Thanks for uh, helping me out with my vocabulary. Um. Okay, 
I, I just want to take this. I like. This is what people tell me is the John Lee Queen sack. Like, there's no direct compensation. Um, all I'm doing here is making a weakness on the king side um, and preventing e4 because I have more pieces attacking e4 than not. And, and black's really solid here. So I just kind of go, well, you've got the queen, but what are you going to do with it? Maybe theoretically it's it's better for white, but um, I don't have I don't have a direct way to cash in material. Uh, there might be a slow knight at g6, going to h4. Uh, so knight f6 is good, prevents h5. So maybe knight at g6 is my slow plan. He's gonna play it fast though. So he's looking to make a break. Now, knight takes, I run into e4. Uh, I'm going to take here, he's going to play pawn at e5. But then I'll just take it. Alright, so that one's that one's for the fans. Those that know me, well, John the Yasser fan club, if your name is... is uh, if you're doing yourself justice, then uh, you, you'll, know, you'll know that um, I sacrifice queens. Um, not always with firm grounds, but uh, they tend to work out more often than not. Kind of a running joke in the community. Um, oh, wow, okay. Um... I take queen at g7, rook here takes, check, knight at f4. That looks too good for black. I'm, I'm hoping he plays queen at g7, because rook g8 looks good for me. Takes, 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 knight at f4. If you move the king on the g3 or h4, I'm going to get knight h5. And if he went back and had pawn at g2, or I had knight h3 check, it just looked good for, for black. Um, so this is this is reasonable. I can take a breath here. Um, So now I uh, play rook g8. Oof, yeah, rook g8. Keep it aggressive. I've got to somehow justify this queen sack I made on h4. Well, I've opened up the g file, right? So if he opens up the g file in kind, then rook g8 has to be played. Stops queen at g7. Still got plenty of cover on d7. Okay, maybe knight at f4. I have a lot of pieces on the side, so I need to do something with them. Ah, queen at a4, I missed though. That, that's going to hurt me. Maybe I have bishop at d7 takes, but uh, that's... That's more holding a straight face than anything else. He's seen it. That's a blunder knight at f4. Alright, we'll play bishop here. We'll hold the straight face. When I say hold a straight face, it means... Uh, you know, you, you made a blunder, but you're going to pretend as if you didn't. Um, Maybe I've made my life worse by doing this. Okay. Playing with fire, taking that one. Alright, we'll take here. From here I'll be in trouble, because clear cast... 
he, he's good at maneuvering strategically. That's the break he was looking for. No, f6 is a problem. Bishop at d6. I don't want to play bishop at e5. He'll just take it and play knight at f6. So we'll play bishop here. I, I need to create lines on his king to have some chances. He might sack on f7. I, I need to conserve some time to be able to defend accurately. Yeah, you, you've got to be cautious here as, as white. Uh, he's not concerned, it seems. Alright, I'm going to leave the attack for one move here. move my old knight. Yeah, I got queen at h2. Alright. Go for the dark squares. I'm, I'm feeling good again here. Alright, this looks like it's mated. Oh, I've got something pretty. I'll just go here. Cover G1 is, is the key. So no, I, I got out of jail there, but I did blunder with knight at f4. Okay. So, um, it looks like I get away with another one of those queen sacks. So I'm, I'm holding a good score here, 5 nil against clear cast. Um, David Hanley, another 100 bits. <laughs> he says, a nice queen sack save. That's an awesome comment. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, thanks Thanks more for the, the comment than the bits, actually. That's, that's really funny. <laughs> Uh, nice queen sack save, uh, as if uh, we have to justify that the queen sack was sound, even if it wasn't. Um, yeah, I feel like he's baiting me into e5 here. He's trying to get knight d7, and you know it looks good for me getting pawn at h6, but not really. I've got either castle king side or castle queen side here. Because I, I do want to open up the position with like d5, but I don't want my bishop to be pinned. Um, so the question is which side is better for me. Uh, I'll take the queen side. And that makes exciting viewing as well. So you get to see a uh, pawn storm on one side versus the other. So d d5, yeah, I, I gotta be careful how I open this one. I will do it slowly. So we got a strong hold here.
not too fast if uh, he gets rook takes a3. We'll just rinse and repeat. Mm. Don't even have to rinse and repeat. We could start attacking if we wanted. I'll, I'll be sensible. We'll invest in some defense. Feels very slow, but Yeah, I can break this open really badly. Um, by that I mean in a way that it's not going to be favorable. Okay. Burnt up tons of clock. Um, kings on b1, at least it's defending a2 because it's quite likely this knight will fall. Um... I have to start hitting f6 somehow. So, okay, he's gone queen over. If pawn at a3 will push. And then I have to try to conserve knights for the rest of the game. Knights and rooks. So I'm avoiding bishop at g2 here, but also looking to play knight g4, knight at h6. So losing a knight is not so bad, it's losing the rook that really kills you. Pawn at b2 and rook at a1 is going to be unstoppable. Um, I have to make the play for knight at h6 and or otherwise open up this file. And uh, time is time is against us. Time is not on my side. H6, I might just take it with a pawn. I'll pre move it since I'm so low on time. Well, I think United H6 is good here. Uh, it will be sharp. Looking for pawn at g7. I'd need to sack the queen here for a pawn. So if rook across takes, takes pawn here. It's not good enough. I only played f3 because I didn't. Uh, my mouse was near there, and I'm running low on time. Um, queen takes b4 wasn't good enough in my eyes. Um, okay. I ran out of time. He's got knight c3. He did well there. Um, yeah, and un unfortunately. Against 
Pawn at g7, he had knight takes g7, if f takes g7, he had king e7. And if I play bishop takes g7, he could play king e8. So I, um, I froze up there. That wasn't, that wasn't the outcome we were looking for. Nice. I like <laughs> Charlie Horse and 55 and Jake Lowens claiming my queen sack was all calculated. Okay, this this is interesting. So I, I've sacked a queen here, like we're just talking about queen sacks, but if I don't, um, it's a knight takes, a knight takes f6 is devastating. So to avoid that, I've got to keep the queen defending f6. I have to give it up. So he's given up a piece and then given up the pawn and the knight for the queen. So I've actually got two pieces for the queen. If I can consolidate here, it's quite decent. Uh, the bishop here he can take and play pawn out. That's not really anything to be concerned about. I'm going to use the bishop just because the bishop is a very good defender. Question Midnight Fox Dota, do you follow the world championship in regular chess between Castle and Caruana? Um, I, I haven't been following them live, but uh, I understand there was like a hundred and fifteen move game. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds epic. Um, yeah, I I mean I, I feel like they're on half half is like uh, it's all even Stevens at the moment, that's what I mean. I feel like I should be able to take this, win something. I can just hit here first. Knight takes here. I don't need to take risks. Hit this guy. He's a defender of E2. Uh, push him back here. Oh, okay, he didn't do it. Well, now I get knight at E2. So this is this is a convincing win. This is this is an opening trick um, because if you defend with the queen, you lose the pawn and then you lose the bishop back. So why it should stand better? h3 might just be a good precaution to stop knight g4 because this bishop is already doing an important job. We just take a breath here and then we'll play d3. We want to develop this bishop. Um, could be pawn at f5 here. We'll play d3. So there's 
Knight f3. So white's a pawn up, but black got a bit of development out of it. It's, it's not horrible for black. Oh, here he comes. So what is there? Is there a queen at, queen at g2 trick? You can't play rook g1 because of knight f3. So do I have to take d4 first or something? Hmm, this is a good move. What should look like a, a very good opening for white is now not so straightforward. Okay, we'll, we'll take this one. Take here. Allow bishop takes g2. I just feel something is going to give on this file because knight at e7, king here. Nothing concrete, just. Something instinctively here. This it's probably right. Bishop takes g two. Maybe it's pawn at e seven. Yeah, I, I think I'll just make the option to run. Bishop g5, I think, is an important move. Just just allow knight takes g2, but importantly, the bishop has vacated c1, so the king has a very easy, safe path. Um, there's, there's nothing nasty coming in here. Let's pick up c7. There's some trickery we could play here, like there's knight at e7 first, and then if here, maybe take here. No, queen at e1's going to be trouble. Or is it taking here? I'll play the risk, risk-free option. Or less, shouldn't say risk-free, less risky option. If knight takes, I got knight takes to cover f2. Um, pawn at h6 is now, you know, um, cloaking a deadly threat. Knight g6, queen takes g7. Let's go. Pawn at d4, okay. Pawn at h6. He's got 94. Is that what he's playing for? Uh... <coughs> Can I just play knight e2 or? Nah, we'll, we'll play pawn at h6. Right. I am concerned about takes, takes, knight takes e4, rook here, pawn here, knight check, takes, takes, then my threats don't really work anymore. I just have a ton of knights. Uh, 
don't know about this, guys. This is a, a little bit loose. Maybe pawn b2, knight here, queen b2, knight c5, takes, takes. All right, I'll take that one. Because the bishop covers d2, so I'm not, not too concerned about coming out this way. Knight g6 is the threat here. A queen at b6, but surely this this is bad. Knight f5. I'm gonna play knight f5 first. This this knight is not helping my attack. It's making it worse. The, now I have the e7 square vacant for the queen. And the bishop covers h5 nicely. So Mixu Chess says, yep, two draws so far. Magnus has had as much as plus five advantage on the first game, but he couldn't convert. Wow. What what kind of plus five was that? Was that like material or was that like an obscure variation where you get to promote or yeah, what 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 was plus five actually made up of? Try this line, dropping back to e7. Okay, pawn at f5. So let's maybe bishop at h5. Yeah, let's. We've got the bishop for the pawn, so let's try to make use of it. Okay, I'm just going to read the chat in a second. The Magnus was black, and his position was just dominant. But in time trouble, he couldn't he couldn't find a couple of easily winning lines. Actually, Opa was saw the winning line after 30 seconds after seeing the position and talking about it in Discord. Oh, computer evaluation, right. Yeah, it's always easy on the sideline, you know. We, I mean, we expect a lot from these guys, but at the end of the day, they're human. Um, and, you know, they've, they've played every other move correctly up to that point. But wow, that, that sounds like a missed opportunity to be winning with black. Particularly in an opening match, because, um, yeah, you, you could really sway some momentum. Wow, okay, well, that's that's an exciting, that's an exciting um, start to the championship, at least. I, I recall um, when I used to follow it more closely, there was some really boring um, classical chess world championships where, like, they nearly just went down the same theoretical line every time and you were just like come on guys like deviate because you both know this is a draw so okay but well, maybe i should put a bishop here i think i'll do that Right, so Jake Lones, are you trying to say commentators were saying that it's over, or they weren't saying it's over? Like, were they all were they all saying, "Oh, look, this is over, and we're done here"? Right, they were not saying it is over, so it wasn't obvious then.
Right. Svidler and Grishuk said it was winning in their commentary for Chess 24. Yeah. Well, I want to say that I'm, I'm sure I missed a few wins, and same with Opa Wesson just uh, earlier today. So we're probably guilty of uh, the same offence. Oh, I've just dropped a knight there, but I don't really care. I'm, I'm really playing on, on this side of the board. So knight at e3 nicely covers knight at d5 as well. It's really hard for uh, white to penetrate from here. So let's grab this guy. Now you could play rook at g2, but he's going to take it anyway. So, you know, this is for the cost of a pawn. Now here, queen f6. Okay, this knight at e7 is the trick. So if I take it with the bishop, I do have to be cautious here. I kind of want to get this knight off. I could have taken this, but. We'll, we'll focus on the attack. So I, I'm just going to go for it here. I reckon rook here takes pawn at f3. So I just cover the defense off f3. Just go for it. Queen on g2 or e2 should be enough. Maybe Rook. His bishop's covering d2. No, I've got enough. Here, Rook at f2. Here, Knight at g2. Pawn at e2 to finish. Uh, Jake Lones, I don't know which win you're talking about, man. Sorry. Queen f6 to b2, or queen g7, queen c3, or the rook g3 win. It, is that a Magnus game, or... Yeah, sorry. I, I, I lost you there. Okay, I, I could sack here and play knight at g5 and bring the king out. Um... Right, okay, from Magnus game. Sorry. I'll stick to my game here. Hmm. I just don't think Queen takes C Queen takes F seven is is enough. So we'll develop and say that Black's only played one move. Okay. 
Okay. So we've got attack here, so let's let's hit this one. Um yeah, if if you've just joined or you're new to Crazy House, um uh, at present I'm doing some training for the Crazy House World Championship final matches, um, which are up against Oppa Wesson, and we've played um, a few of those matches just earlier today. Gonna mix it up, hit hit G7 a bit. Um, Yeah, Clearcast is, is one of the candidates, and um, we're playing some 3 plus 2 matches, which is the time limit that the the World Championship final will, will be played with. So Knight at F5 is going to be dangerous now. Okay, he's trying to get the tactic to work with a knight at g2 but I can probably play a knight at f5 or maybe I should take g7 first uh, I'll take g7 We can also just take here, takes, takes, knight at g2, and then takes, takes, that'd be knight takes d5, right, so knight takes d5 is the point. Um, okay, knight f5, you can actually take this one. Alright, I like knight at f5. So rook g1 takes, queen takes to stop knight at f3. That's very important. Before the idea was I might leave the queen on c4 to defend f4. Okay, so now you're coming in here. Alright, I'll allow knight at f3 on this occasion. But that's only because I'm threatening knight at d6 mate. Uh, if queen takes, knight at d6 is also very strong. Pick up a check here. We'll just play this one. Capture with the queen just to leave some defense back back at home. Bishop takes is stronger to attack with. Maybe I'm being a bit conservative doing it this way. But uh, pawn e7, queen f8, takes, takes, takes. Pawn at g7, king takes, queen here, king here, pawn g7 is also many. So pawn at e7, this, this is mate. If rook g8, rook at f8, king takes, queen h6 mate. Or you can get fancy, you can take this one. You can do it with the bishop if you like. Alright, 
it's 1.22 a.m. I'm, uh, I'm going to call last two games. Uh, make it a nice even dozen. See if we get to sack the queen again. I won't sack it here because I, I prefer it when white's already played h3. I think there's a bit more of a target to hit. So uh, we don't just go sacrificing it every chance. But here, hmm. I mean. Come on, I, guys, i got to stay true to my word, right? I mean, I said, well, when white plays h3, so here, here I'm also threatening to regain a little bit more material, um, possibly even something on c2. If my center can hold and, and nothing really breaks, um, yeah, I, I stand to gain some more material gradually. I'm just going to gently push this one back. I'm not going to play f6 because that weakens my light squares. Um, I can take this one. I could leave it for a move. I think I'll take this one. Oh, he's got knight c7, takes pawn d7. Maybe I should leave this bishop here. But he'll get pawn at e6. Because I've been watching clearcast in the candidates, I'm aware of how, how resourceful he can be here. So I just want to be accurate. I'll go this way. If he takes, so be it. Takes, takes, pawn at d7. We'll go king here. And if knight at c8, we can take this. I just don't want him, I don't want to take d7 when he can play knight at c5 and bring the queen in. Even if he does, I probably have king e7, king f8. So I, I do need some material in hand to get my attack going too, but I, I just feel this helps to, you know, in the long run, it's giving me a, a big residual advantage. So here, it doesn't make sense to me. I think I can take this. Knight b6 takes. Check, takes. If he takes c7, I can take with the king. So, yeah, I'm, I'm taking this. Not sure where his knight's going to go. Okay, he's going this way. Um, I'll take with the king. Could have played bishop at h2 first to stop this. Yeah, I, I've misunderestimated knight takes c7 here. Now I'm uh, not as happy as I was. I'm open to him capturing. He's not doing it. Okay, knight at c4. Hmm. 
I mean, it'd be six a possibility. I think we'll just prevent this from ever happening. Oh, what's he planning? Pawn at d7? That's what it looks like. We could take this. Pawn at d7. Yeah, I, I just think it's going to be too dangerous, this hole on g2. Can move back. Now we'll, we'll place a new pawn. I don't want to allow knight takes d5. And I'm threatening mate here with bishop h2, pawn at g2, knight at h4. So he can't take either of these. I didn't want to put the king here because he takes a rook with check. If I go here, he takes this one with check. That's why king e6 has been played. Alright. Okay. This is dangerous for me. Whoa, what? A queen d7 is made in one. That was really poor, guys. That was really poor in time trouble. Oh dear, I'm getting tired. Um, I should have defended that one a lot better. And maybe against pawn at g3, rook takes. Rook takes is not the right move. Okay, ZH, welcome. Hope you've been well. Okay, this one's the last game, guys. I got work tomorrow. I'll need to get some sleep, but uh, glad you can catch some of my training matches in advance of the uh, the next section. Or the next set, what we're going to call. Good games yesterday, yes, okay, ZH, yeah. Yeah, in fact, I think Midnight Fox Dota, I think that's probably theory. 4e5 and Queen g5, Queen g4. I just, I just kind of forgot. Um, e5 and... Yeah, it's... Maybe. I, I don't know it well enough, to be honest. That's why I didn't play it. I'm, um, I'm not too disappointed with what I got out of this opening. Because Black ended up playing d6 and blocked his own bishop out, so I got a pin here, and now I'm getting to exploit it. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, can I be sneaky and take this one? Because if takes, I take f6, and knight at c7 is crushing. So there's pawn at e5 here. I'm being greedy and looking, looking for more. I mean, winning a piece would be good enough, but I'm uh, pushing for a bit more than that. This is this is fine. 
If he went back to e7, I was going to play bishop at b4, pawn at d6, take this one, take this one, then take the knight, and then play knight at c7. Okay, we'll take... We can go knight at, or... We'll take this one. Okay, that's me. That's gonna be it just for now. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for joining me. Um, re really, uh, yeah, good, good fight, good battle um, earlier with Opal Wesson. Um, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to the the next two sets. Um, should be some great matches. Uh, again, bottom right, uh, you can see there's there's a, a championship fight purse. Um, we've had some massive donations. I'm just going to acknowledge again because I think it's really important to do so. Um, Janly Yasa Fan Club with a $100 donation. Um, absolutely massive. And uh, MFS also donated 50 euro. Um, so that's really got the, the fun going again. Um, look, uh, there's part of the concept was to see, you know, uh, even while we play the live matches, people can kind of donate to raise the stakes um, uh, for what we're playing for. I thought that was a fun concept. But what I'll be doing is, um, over the next two weeks, uh, in the lead up to the you know the final and 60th game, I'll be trying to stream as much as I can with these Crazy House World Championship uh, training matches. Um, just doing the regular thing, giving some commentary. Um, you know, preferably taking on some strong opponents like some of the other candidates. Um, we'll probably abstain from playing against Opal Wesson. Nothing against him. Um, it's just that people have said, oh, you know, don't don't spoil it by, uh, you know, playing against the guy that um, is, is in the final. Um, so, yeah, um, we, we've played plenty of training matches together, Opal Wesson and I over the last few months um so yeah um if, if there's candidates around this time that, that are online we'll we'll try to uh we'll try to get some more matches in get them on live stream um okay i'm gonna leave it there for now um wherever you are have a great week ahead of you um we'll see you next time looking forward to um, the next the next matches that are going to come all right thanks again for the support thanks for the donations we'll, we'll see you next time bye